the horizontal axis is time. The vertical axis is your emotional stability. <laughs> this dashed line is like normal. <laughs> so maybe some of you like the dashed line is up here. It's okay. Um, so basically, there's there's kind of four stages with culture shock. Um, you have this kind of initial part where it's you're all over the place, and this may be where you are now, somewhere in here, where you're like, oh, it's going to be great going to Japan. Oh, it's going to be terrible. That's going to be great, terrible, terrible, great, terrible, great, 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 great. <laughs> then uh, in uh, August, just before you're getting ready to leave, you're going to have this super huge high. That's uh, the honeymoon phase you're going to be going into. And this line right here is like when you get to Japan. So that's like the, the peak, I think. So that's when you're like, oh, it's awesome. I love Japan. I'm here. I went to the Kabini. It was great. I had uh, some strange thing that looked like powdered sugar donuts, but they were filled with curry. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so you, you have this honeymoon phase, and you'll be like surrounded by like 6,000, 8,000 jets at Tokyo orientation. And you'll be like, oh, this is awesome. Everyone's pumped up. We're all here to teach English. We're going to. We're going to communicate, we're going to share our culture with all these people, it's awesome. Then you're going to get to your apartment, it's going to be like, <laughs> whoa, I'm all alone, there's nobody here, I hate it, it's too bad. So that's when you hit the culture shock, that's the, the third phase, or the second phase, however you want to look at, is uh, the shock phase. And that's when you just kind of like, you're like, okay, uh, I'm going to close the door to my apartment, lock it. And I'm gonna just like lay on my futon and just like curl into a little ball and eat my omiyage that I brought. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the shock thing. And um, the good news is that eventually, over time, because this is time, this way, so eventually over time, you start to come out of the shock phase. And then you can see like, it doesn't go flat right away. It kind of like goes up and down. So you have like smaller versions of this over and over again. So you know you may be like, oh, I learned some kanji. I can read what that sign says. Awesome. And then you'll be like, I went to the post office. It took me three hours to mail my letter. And then like you know, it'll be like up and down. But eventually it kind of flattens out, and that's when you adapt. That's the adaptation phase, and you're kind of adjusting, accepting the culture. And then uh, the fun part is that when you leave Japan, whether it's after one year or five years, you get to do this all over again, but it's when you come back to America. So. Yeah, the reverse culture shock chart looks like this. Yeah, <laughs> except, except it's probably like bigger. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 A lot of people have more trouble coming back.